Hey guys, welcome into today's video. This is gonna be a brand new series on my channel. It's gonna be a foundation a day for 42 days. The reason that I wanted to start this video is that I have 51 foundations in my permanent collection. It's the number two item, maybe number one right now, of makeup that I really like testing. I'm really into testing new foundations. It switches back and forth usually between blush, eyeshadow, and foundation, my three favorite makeup categories, probably a lot of people's favorite makeup categories. But 51 foundations is just too much for me to have in my collection. I recently did a makeup declutter and I will link that up in the cards where I went through my whole collection and I decluttered breaking some of my makeup into three different categories keep declutter and then I made up a third which was items that I want to keep for reference but I'm going to take out of my permanent collection and move into the closet where I keep makeup that I think is popular relevant things that I may want to reference in future videos but that I don't want to use in my personal everyday life but I did not do that with foundation and recently I've gone through a really big skin change in the last eight months to a year I have gone from really really dry skin to very very oily skin and a lot of foundations that used to work for me that were more in the dewy natural finish side just aren't working these days so I'm grabbing and loving more matte foundations so some of my foundations in my collection predate my skin change so the reason for this series I don't want to just declutter foundations based on memory I want to retest a lot of them because some of them are pretty expensive some of them I may re-love some of them I may not like or may not work for me now and it's time to make that determination so while I have 51 foundations in my collection this is foundation a day for 42 days because there are nine foundations I have already made a decision on some of them I'm actually testing they haven't gone into speed reviews but I've worn them very recently so I know exactly how I feel about them but I will have to move them into wherever they're gonna go keep declutter or in the reference pile and then there are some that I'm testing that I already absolutely love haven't gone into a speed reviews and I know that I'm gonna be keeping them and then two of them I have already made the decision that I'm going to declutter welcome into day 28 you guys I'm pretty excited because I'm almost at day 30 if you guys have watched any of my other videos videos you know I feel like this has taken me forever I don't know when I started this series but it's definitely taking me a lot longer than 42 days as I just don't get consecutive days in a row to just be testing foundations between work and life that happens I feel like this month has been pretty wild and didn't put out as many videos towards the end of the month as I was hoping you guys might not notice that but anyway today is about the say glowy super skin lightweight hydro bounce serum foundation I wonder sometimes if Sephora just adds a bunch of names to it because every time I like look at the actual packaging and then I go to Sephora it's like Sephora has added like 12 words so it's called the glowy super skin foundation on the bottle I picked this one today because we're still in pretty dry weather and foundations like this I'm getting away with just a teensy bit more right now in terms of longevity on me so I had like the more hydrating ones kind of grouped together and I thought if I'm gonna wear them and they're not just gonna slip off of me I better do it now I don't remember much about this at all I know that it's supposed to be hydrating I know that it's supposed to give a natural radiant finish I just don't remember what it looks like on my skin at all this did launch I think this year so for me whenever I tested it I probably had a pretty oily skin but I cannot remember whatsoever so let's get into talking about this and then we'll get into application so I told you guys the full name is the say glowy super skin lightweight hydro bounce serum foundation it retails for $46 it comes in 36 shades I have the shade 7 which is listed as light with neutral undertones but it definitely looks too dark for me it's supposed to be a lightweight serum foundation with medium buildable coverage with a luminous finish. This does have 85% skincare ingredients. It's supposed to have 15% weightless pigment with five times the traditional hyaluronic acid. It is somehow in the Hydra Bounce trademarked formula that's in there. It's made in the USA. It has a 12 month shelf life. It has one standard fluid ounce. I already told you guys, I really don't remember how this performs. So we just gotta get it on the face. We gotta do the wear test. I told you guys it's very dry outside right now. So I'm hoping that this stays a little bit longer. I have nothing but a moisturizer on my face. I haven't primed in any way. I was gonna put on a mattifying primer, but then I thought, Maybe I shouldn't because I think that might mess up the wear test a little bit because there might be a lot of folks out there that do not use a mattifying primer, especially if they're going to use this foundation. It's likely that it's going to work best for people with dry skin. It's kind of where I'm going with this. So we're going to start with that much. I'm going to just use a brush today. I felt like I would soak up too much of the radiance if I just used a sponge. So we're just going to use the brush and we're going to go into the left side. Thank you. 
Well, you could see just how lightweight the formula was, like how serum-y. It definitely felt very lightweight on my swatch and on my skin, but as I started to blend it in, it feels a little bit thicker on my skin. Like textured wise, you can kind of feel it. Not a ton of coverage. Definitely feels like it would be medium buildable coverage just because it has that kind of like effect on the skin with the first application. I definitely feel like I'm gonna leave it right here though. I'm not gonna build it up anymore. I just like the finish of it. I just think it looks good like this. <laughs> I don't know why, but it doesn't look as dark on me as it started to. I think it's kind of light to medium coverage right away, but yeah, it just says medium buildable. Again, gonna leave it just like this. Gonna powder and do all that great stuff just like I normally do. But let's go ahead into the right side. And by the way, for reference, I probably have taken just half a pump like I normally would on either side here. It definitely feels heavier than it looks, you know? Just because I feel like it's extra dewy, it's extra radiant, so that tends to feel heavier on my face. I feel like those are a little bit more radiant in finish, tend to feel a little bit heavier on me. That's not always the case, but when it's this dewy, I feel like that tends to be true. So, so far, it's extra, extra dewy. Doesn't feel super lightweight. I like the finish. It's not doing any weird things like close up so far, so I like that. By the way, I feel like shade seven was too much. Like light with neutral undertones is not where I would have put shade seven. I feel like shade seven is too warm. So I feel like with this foundation, I would definitely go lighter. Just lighter than you maybe normally would. I feel like I'm somewhere in between fair and light because every time I get fair, I don't like the way it looks on me every time I get something that says light with neutral undertones for whatever reason it ends up being too dark I think and then yeah I would just like to be somewhere in between I don't know what foundation is my perfect shade match but anyway I, I definitely feel like you can see the warmth in this one so let me go finish the rest of my makeup we'll come back and we'll do one final check-in before the wear test the makeup is on I think I like the way that it looks so far I took away a lot of the dewiness with the powder and all I did is really just powder my T-zone like I normally do, because if I don't, we can't do a wear test because it'll be gone in like five and a half seconds. But so far it feels good. It doesn't feel as heavy as it initially did. And I don't see a ton of dewiness right now because I put powder products really on top of my cheeks and I've t powdered my T-zone and all that good stuff. So I like the way that it looks. I don't feel like it looks too heavy. I feel like it's true medium coverage. Anyway, here is what it looks like, you guys, all done up. I'm gonna go about my wear test. I will show you guys what it looks like in natural light right away, what it looks like at four hours, and I'll see you back here when I'm all crumbed up at the end of eight hours. Welcome back to 7 p.m., you guys. It's been about nine hours. I'm doing a check-in for two different wear tests, a new concealer and then this foundation. I actually thought this held up a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to come off pretty quickly, but it has broken apart on my nose, on the left side, on the right side, you can see it's like heavy cakey around my nose. I also noticed that at the four hour mark. Let me jump right into showing you guys what the footage looks like right away in natural light. I feel like it looked pretty good, halfway decent. At the four hour mark, I came back and I hadn't even looked at myself in the mirror before I did the check-in and I immediately saw like it had come off on my nose. It was like breaking apart on my nose as well. I feel like that's my key indicator. How do my oils break up the foundation? Because my oils are coming through regardless. It's just, will it break up the formula in a way that's super noticeable? And it's always gonna be my nose because that's the oiliest part of me. But even in that four hour check-in, it was like off of my chin also. When I say that it held up better than I felt like it was going to, I feel like I see the foundation on more parts of my face and like less dewy in areas where I tend to get more dewy. So I feel like it held up, but that also could be that it's a colder day and I really wasn't sweating like at all. So that also could be part of it. However, I was outdoors. I was like paying bills, you know, so I was like touching myself, you know, all sorts of stuff like that I normally do. So that was all there and involved. I just don't think that given my current skin type, that this is something I would find myself reaching for given that it breaks up 
under my oils in the way that it did. I'd be interested to see what it would work like for me if I had dry skin and I really didn't produce that many oils because honestly, I thought it was really pretty aside from it breaking apart on my nose. I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys have dry skin, like how did it perform on you? And I wonder if I did the initial wear test on this foundation back when I kind of had drier skin than I do now. I cannot even remember. I could go back and look at that footage, but I didn't want it to kind of taint my wear test today. So ultimately you guys know that the goal is on day 28 that we decide whether or not this foundation stays or goes. I think you guys already have an idea that I am not going to keep the say super glowy foundation, whatever this is called, glowy super skin foundation. But I think because it's a fairly new product, it's a fairly new release and say is a very relevant brand. I'm gonna hold on to this in the reference, you know, like hold on to foundations that I put in my closet that I do not wear on an everyday basis and keep in my permanent collection or my everyday collection, which is to my right behind me. But it's gonna go technically into the declutter category for this particular series. So let me do the new total. Okay, I've decluttered 15 and I have kept 13. I do feel good about that. I still feel like I'm looking at my drawers even when I'm not testing the foundations and I still feel like it's a ton. It's just a lot. And I want to curate the stuff that's like fabulous, fantastic, beautiful, it makes me look great, isn't problematic, all that good stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you find this series helpful or entertaining or whatever it is for you guys. I hope you stick around for days 29 through 42 of Foundation a Day. I'm out of here and I hope to catch you all on my next one. Bye guys.